I have a fresh install of a Laravel 12 starter kit, and I want to make it publicly accessible. So let's deploy it with Laravel Cloud. We'll start by creating a new application, and I already have my GitHub account connected. We'll need to select the repository for this application, and we will create that application. And from right here, we could deploy it, but I need a database for this app. So let's create a database. A Postgres 17 database is gonna be fine. We don't have to worry about making any changes to the application itself, because Laravel Cloud will automatically inject these settings into the .env file. I want a Redis cache, so we will add that to the application. And I don't necessarily need an S3 bucket, but we'll add one. I'll make sure that the name is unique. We will create the bucket and add it to the application. But before we can deploy it, we need to save those changes. So we will do that. Then we will click on the deploy button and deployment starts. It's broken up into two phases. There's the build phase where it is going to download and install all of the dependencies, such as, well, we can see right here, just like we were creating a new Laravel project or running Composer. Once the build process is finished, it will jump to the deployment. That's where all of the commands are going to run needed to, well, deploy our application. The migrations, any NPM scripts that need to run to build our client-side dependencies, and, well, everything is going to be there. We can see that it doesn't really take long, maybe 40, 45 seconds, and there we go. Everything is done in about 42 seconds. So we can visit our application. Voila, there it is. Developing applications is the difficult part. Deploying them should be easy, and it doesn't get much easier than Laravel Cloud.